In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about EQing. It can be something that's really confusing, especially if you're just starting out with producing music, and it's one of the keys that you need to really get your songs to sound super professional. So we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna start here with this little whiteboard, uh, <laughs> with this little whiteboard graphic I've got, but then we are gonna jump into a session and I'll show you live. So what I wanna do first is just break down everything from left to right, top to bottom. Uh, first, there's different sections of the EQ and they kind of cover different things and different instruments, different tracks are gonna pretty much cover different frequency ranges. So starting over here at the left, you can see super low and it's corresponding here. That's gonna be around the 20 to 40 range and that's that rumble that we don't necessarily want. It comes mostly from an 808 and kick, um, but you'll wanna take it out most of the time. Right next, and you can see that's indicated with a little red X. Now, next, we've got the low end, which is about you know, bass 808 and kick, uh, which we are going to want to keep. That's going to be around the 40 to 200 range. By the way, I say around because you never know, it really does depend on the instrument itself. I'm just kind of giving a good, solid, rough range. Uh, next, we've got the mids, and the mids are kind of tough because those are the warm slash muddy part of vocals, melody instruments, and claps. Yes, you're gonna wanna keep it, like you're not gonna wanna take it all out completely, obviously, but from that 200 to 2K-ish range, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that you're gonna wanna take out and get really surgical with, which I'll obviously show you uh, in the next part of the video, but that, you, we can keep that. Uh, the next part is gonna be the high end, which is indicated right here, and that's around the 2K to 10K range. That's gonna be vocals, hi-hat, open hats, claps, definitely a lot of the vocal stuff. And again, we are going to want to keep it, but there's going to be a lot of surgery that we're going to have to do um, to be able to really, really make it sound clean. And then the last part is, I call it the super high end. That's the sheen and the high end we don't want around the 10K and beyond. So 10K to 20K, we're going to actually pretty much hard cut a lot of that stuff out. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's jump in to a session and let me show you breaking down how I would EQ different instruments. So the first thing I want to break down is let's just start with a kick. All right, let's start with a kick. So um, there's already uh, there's already an EQ on it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the EQ off. And you can just ignore the other instruments. It doesn't really matter. They're not turned on. So I'm going to pull up an EQ. It's called uh, the one I use. It's called F6 RTA. It's by Waves. It doesn't matter what EQ you use. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press play and we're going to watch what frequency ranges it takes up. Now you can see it takes up a lot of these frequency ranges way over here in the mid and obviously the lows. Now one way you can think about EQing and uh, this might be one, something you want to write down but one thing you want to do is you want to think about EQing as a puzzle piece. When I'm doing the kick, I don't need all this high end. I don't need it. Like I can hard chop. Why? Because this is going to be where the vocal and the clap and other melody instruments get taken. I don't need the kick to take that up. So anywhere, you know, all the way up to about the 400 range, there's really no redeeming qualities for a kick in this case. So I'm going to take that out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a little bit of the low end. And what I can do is I can take it out here and then pull it back. And I want to, until I hear that thump. Thirty-eight's good. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing I'm going to do is what I like to call get surgical or scan the EQ. So I'm going to take one of the numbers. I'll take the number one, which is, this is called a band. I'm going to make it super skinny. I'm going to turn up the gain to like 10. And I'm just going to scan the EQ back and forth to see what sounds good and what doesn't. If there's anything that sounds bad, like I don't like it, I'm just going to pull it out. So watch. So there's that bass sound right there. Might take that out. A little bit of that hollow sound I don't love. So we're just going to take out about one, 1 to 3 dB. Not even that much. 0.5 even.
Hear that hollow sound? Don't like it. There's only... Nice. Okay, this is good. So without the EQ, obviously quality, but sounds a lot different than with the EQ. That's really what I want. That's what I want it to sound like. Okay, I want that kick to sound just like that. Next thing I can do, I'll show you how I maybe would do a, a snare again. I'll pull off the uh, pull off all the plugins. I'll leave the kick on. You can see I'm going to take the low end out up to like 200 even past that. And then we're just going to scan the EQ. There's that hollow sound I don't like. We're just going to go scan, scan, scan. All of this, all of this is bad. So we're going to actually take a pretty wide band here and I'm going to take out like three dB. We're not going to keep that because this is going to be, I know where the vocal is going to come in. So I'm just going to take out a little bit. And then I can even take out a hard cut. If I do it too hard, it's going to be muffled. That's better. So without... Way cleaner. So that's cool. I'm not going to go do all the drums now. You get the point. Next thing I'll do is I'll EQ the bass. And I'll show you how we do that. Again, taking out maybe even up to like 300. Take that low end up down till about 40. And then we scan the EQ. I like that. So I'm going to actually give it just a little bit. Not too much, though. I don't like that ringing sound. It's pretty good right there, actually. Take that out right there. For the EQ. Way cleaner. Listen how that sounds with the kick and snare. Maybe we turn the kick down a little. Solid. Next thing I might do, might throw, might do a mel. We'll do a melody instrument here real quick. So let me pull up kind of the main sample. Okay. Now, obviously, with the main sample, like with these, you can see there's a lot of that mid. I'm going to take a lot of the low end out. And a lot of the high end out as well. Yeah, I'm not going to leave a lot of that. And then we're just going to trim it out. We don't like that four hundo. Oopsies. It's actually not bad right now. Make it pretty skinny. I'm gonna make it skinny because we have such a small window to work with. There we are. A little ringing sound. I don't know why it's doing that. 
Cool. Without the EQ? Give a little high end back. That's better. There we go. I'll play that with the, uh, you know, with the bass kick clap just so you can hear it. That's cool, right? Um, and I, you know, I can go through and keep going, keep going. The next, the only next thing I'll do is let's just do an EQ on the vocal. Okay. What's in there? Okay, got it. So I've got a little bit of tuning. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess, trying to get sleep, but it's all kind of a lot of tuning. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna put a little EQ on here just so you hear how it sounds and you can see the vocal. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers. Now you can eat by the way, you can EQ by itself, or you can put the other instruments with it. For this, I'm just gonna EQ the vocal by itself so you see what's going on. So one thing I'm gonna do is take out a lot of the low end, probably up to like 150. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing and if you want to hear what that sounds like, go go really extreme, taking the low end out, and then pull it back to you think it sounds good. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying this is a little too thin. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last That's week good. I was on a yacht. Then we're going to scan. Models, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. A little bit Give boxy. All, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a yacht. Popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Fuck you. If you don't respect, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a there. yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess, trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes, fuck you if you don't See, respect. See, hear that fuck hollow up, sound. Fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess, trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to is. rest. Don't Give like them that. all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes, fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess, trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not impressed. Don't love yes. that. Fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up. Now I know that around the 8K range, it's gonna start to sound really good, and that's what I want. But let's scan a little more. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles. Right there is good. Fuck it up, feel like I might even take some of the high end out of the vocal. Because, like, we don't need it. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a yacht. Let's hear it with the other stuff that we've EQ'd so far. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. And we have the main sample. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. And there, there you have it like that. Now you've got everything sounding clean together. You know, you've got everything really having a lot of great cohesion and fitting together. Now, if this was interesting to you of a video and you're like, wait, Lee, did you produce this entire song? Maybe you're thinking that, I don't know, you might not be, but if you're seeing this, I did fully produce this song. Um, and it's really simple to actually learn how to produce your own music. And if you want to learn how to do that, not just EQing, if you actually want to learn how to fully produce your own songs, make the beats, record the vocals, mix and master in just 90 days, all you got to do is click below, go watch the main video pinned to my channel. And basically what we're going to do is break down a whole training on how you can do just that. All right. So thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you got some value and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.